So one of the things I've been dying to ask about, especially with the upcoming uh, holiday season, what are some things that smaller brands can do around the holiday season, especially for, you know, Black Friday and some Cyber Monday on Amazon? What are your top tips for the holiday season? Yeah, so, so I'd say that don't act too late. And by that, I mean, if you're making big decisions the day before Black Friday, then it's it's too late or you're, you're trying to affect performance the day before black friday it's, it's too late that work should start in in august september time so the reason i say that is that you want to be in prime position when that surge of demand comes in on black friday cyber monday or in that sort of general peak before christmas and you can't get in that sort of prime position there and then in sort of end of November, December. That's all because of work that's been done prior to that to build up your sales momentum on the platform. So we would often encourage businesses to look at running at, not not unprofitably, but like a more, far more aggressive sort of advertising spend in sort of and promotional spend within August, September, early October to boost their sales in that period when other people, other products aren't necessarily doing that to then sort of acquire that real estate in the higher organic rankings so that when that traffic comes in, they're there and they take advantage of it. Um, obviously, the other aspect of it is then what what does happen during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and and that those couple of weeks before before Christmas, and that's that's when the sort of the advertising skill, if you like, comes into it. I think, you know, being really clear on what it is you want to achieve in terms of is it revenue growth or to put a new product out into the market or something like that. That that's you know the, the critical first step of it. So what is it you are tr trying to achieve? And then working back from that um, is it, it, kind of the, the fundamental thing um, to really look at. Um, the, the advertising part of it is another interesting thing. So particularly for smaller brands, what we often do is we turn off advertising during Black Friday and, and, and Cyber Monday. So which might sound sort of counterintuitive, but what we see what we see is in the you look at the the consumer behavior on amazon and and you know the the, the teams at amazon would would happily say this is that you'll see a sort of halo effect around that sort of black friday cyber monday period so kind of growth in in uh interest in the days before black friday and then that growth and that interest is still there after cyber monday so what you can do is sort of take advantage of that. So you've got an increase in demand from customers, but not necessarily all brands are then increasing their bids to try and capture that audience. You'll, you'll find that, yeah, there's a, there's a greater demand, but your CPCs aren't rising as in proportion prior to Black Friday and post Cyber Monday. But during that sort of Friday to Monday period where everyone piles in because they don't understand this sort of pre- and post aspect to the dynamic, the CPCs go crazy. And for smaller businesses in particular, it's just, it's impossible to compete. So just take a smarter approach to it. Look at the actual consumer behavior. Don't get caught up in all of the noise around who's doing a crazy deal on Black Friday and just just be a bit more agile about, about it. And you'll, you'll find that you might not have that incredible spike on Black Friday, but overall in the sort of 10 day period in and around it, you, you've, you've benefited without having to sort of go through some ridiculous CPC spikes on, on, on the Friday and the Monday.